Hey friends, this is Tatiana from Disco VR, and today I've got another Beat Saber tutorial for you, which will show you the newest, the easiest, and the most reliable way to downgrade your Beat Saber. If you're new here, you might wonder, why do you need to downgrade your Beat Saber? One of the coolest things about this game is that you can mod it. By modding Beat Saber, you can install custom songs, get amazing custom maps with crazy color effects, get custom sabers, blocks, and walls, and install different mods that allow you some cool tricks, like for example, throwing your saber in the air, mid-song or enable this slice visualizer and many other cool things. The problem is, Beat Saber receives updates so frequently that often the newest version of Beat Saber doesn't support modding and we need to downgrade the game to an earlier version that supports the mods you want to get. Since last year, the downgrading process has been transforming a lot and today I'm happy to introduce you to the easiest and most reliable way to downgrade your Beat Saber to any version that you want and unlock all the modding possibilities. A huge shoutout goes to Computer Elite, a software developer who has put a lot of work to make this downgrading method possible. You can thank him in the comments and of course the entire Beat Saber modding community and the unicorns who brought Beat Saber modding to a quest system. As always, Beat Saber modding community discord is the best place to ask questions and get support should you run into any issues related to modding. To begin, you will need a laptop or a PC. You will also need SideQuest downloaded and installed on your PC. Please make sure that you have it all set up before watching this video. Simply watch the official step-by-step -step tutorial linked below if you haven't already. And finally, you will need to have purchased and installed the original Beat Saber game. Make sure it runs correctly and now you're ready to go. The way downgrading works is that you first uninstall Beat Saber, which is supposedly the latest version of the game, and in its place you will install the earlier version of the game. Of course, we need to know which version we should install. Different mods work with different Beat Saber versions. If you go to this website, you will see which mods work with each version of Beat Saber. This is very convenient as they are compatible compatibility is regularly updated. You will see that most mods are compatible with earlier versions, and there are only a handful that works with the newest version. Chroma and Noodle extensions are the most popular mods, as they will allow you to download custom songs with the most incredible visual effects that are impossible to find in the base game. The newest Beat Saber version compatible with those mods is 1.19.1. Cosmetics is also a very popular mod, which allows you to download custom sabers, blocks, and walls, but the latest game version that works with it is 1.17.1. And keep in mind that even on that version, cosmetics mod is pretty unstable and your game may crash at random moments. For this tutorial, I'll be downgrading my game to version 1.19.1 because I really want those custom maps with crazy colors allowed by Chroma and Noodle extension mods. Go to this website and you'll find all the links in the description of this video. Click on Downgrading Guide, Quest 1 and Quest 2, type in Beat Saber as the game's name and Quest as the system. Then type in the version that you need. In my case, it's 1.19.1 and hit search. Most likely, you'll get more than one result. Always download the first one, which is the latest build. The number in the parentheses shows the build number, so the higher, the newer. Here you'll get notification that you need to be logged into Oculus to download this APK. This is because the system needs to verify that you have purchased Beat Saber on your Oculus account. Otherwise, this would be piracy. You won't be able to download this downgraded version unless you have already purchased the game. Another way to download this downgraded APK is by tapping in Beat Saber in this search bar in the top right corner. Here you will select Beat Saber for Quest 1 and Quest 2 and then click on the details button. On this page, you'll be able to see all the available versions of Beat Saber. You can simply select the one that you want and, just like before, click on Download. As long as you're logged into your Oculus account, you'll be able to download the APK on your computer. Now we will need to install this APK onto your headset, and we'll do this using SideQuest. I'm assuming you have already watched the tutorial and have SideQuest installed and set up on your PC and your Quest connected to it. You can install the Beat Saber APK either by dragging and dropping it here in the corner or by selecting it on your computer by clicking on this button. Your APK will be successfully installed on your quest and now your game is pretty much downgraded. But we are not done yet, we need to patch our game to make sure that we can mod it. On SideQuest, search for an app called BMBF, the one with the funky unicorn. And with the quest still connected, sideload it onto your headset by clicking on this big pink button that says Download App Sideload. It will show a successful installation and on this step we are done with your PC and the rest of the tutorial will be done from within your quest headset. The BMBF app is used to patch and mod our Beat Saber. You will find this app in your library under Unknown Sources. When you find it, click on it and in this window simply follow the instructions. Step 1 will be to uninstall your Beat Saber. Don't worry, it'll still keep the files of your downgraded version. Step 2 is to patch your Beat Saber. Tap on Patch Beat Saber to start. You'll see the log of all the processes of patching. It might take a few minutes, just be patient with it and let it do its thing. 
And finally, step 3 will be to reinstall a patched Beat Saber. Click the Install button, click the Install version again, and wait as BMBF is installing the patched version of Beat Saber. If the installation states that the package installer isn't responding, this is completely normal. Simply click here on Wait. If you've had some custom songs installed before, this app will prompt you to restore them and all the custom playlists that you may have. If you want to bring those songs back, click Restore and after that, sync to Beat Saber. Easy peasy. You can start the game now. Make sure you do not restore the game as it will remove your downgraded version. Here allow permissions. Here when you start you will see the downgraded version in the footprint. That means that we downgraded our Beat Saber successfully and you will also see the notification board to your right and the song downloader to your left. That means that we have patched our Beat Saber successfully and it's ready for modding. Downloading custom songs from this Beat Saber is super easy. You can type in the song name right here or even browse existing songs. Watch my earlier video which explains in great detail all the ways that you can search for, sort through and download different custom songs, including creating new playlists. When you download custom songs, by default they will be placed in this new playlist called Custom Levels. When you click on a song and then on this question mark, you will see which mods are required to play this map. For example, this one requires Chroma and Noodle extensions, and we don't have neither, so let's go back and install them. Unfortunately, finding mods is just a little bit more complicated now. It used to be that you would open BMBF, go to Browser and then get Mods, but now it only shows you the core mods required to run the latest version of the patched game. Game. To find the mod specific to your downgraded version of Beat Saber, you need to click on this image of a globe and select Google. Basically, open a browser within BMBF. And here, type in Computer Elite. The actual name of the website that we need is computerelite.github.io. So when you see it, click on it. In this window, scroll down until you see Quest Beat Saber mod versions. Here, simply change the version of the game to the one that you installed and download each mod that you want. And the most important part, after after you're done, don't forget to click on Sync to Beat Saber. To check which mods you have installed, click on this tab that says Mods. The top ones are the core mods required to run the patched version of the game. And here, underneath, you will see the mods that I have just installed, Chroma and Noodle extensions. All the mods that you download will show up here. You can also uninstall mods from here by clicking on this button and syncing to your Beat Saber. Now that we are set and all the mods have been synced with Beat Saber, let's start the game. The fun part here is that in Song Download, Loader, you can even add a filter that will only show you songs that require Noodle extensions, for example, mapping extensions or Chroma, all of which include maps with crazy visual effects. Here, download anything you like. And in the Custom Levels playlist, when you click on a song and then on the question mark, you will see that now we've finally fulfilled the modding requirements and can play this level. And now you pretty much know all the basics about downgrading and modding your Beat Saber. Don't forget to check out this tutorial on installing custom songs, this one on Noodle extensions mod and this one on installing custom sabers blocks and walls. As a thank you for this tutorial, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to Disco VR for more. Thanks for watching and happy beat sabering!